Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker, and I'm going through these thumbnail picks, and you know that's one of my favorite things to do. And of course, as always, I will give you the link. You don't even have to mess with this stuff. All right, let me show you this. This is unbelievable. All right, this is the same picture that I showed you that little thumbnail. And as always, like I said, I'll give you the links. Now look at this. Now, of course, these thumbnails, a lot of them we don't ever see. Or when we do, sorry about that, when we do, they don't look anything like this, like the original. But, uh, I mean, look at this stuff. Look at this, look at the, the structures. This looks like some type of piece of machinery. start up here. Now you can see. I'm not going to point at any of this stuff, but so I'm using both hands to steady the camera for you guys. I'm going to go really, really in tight on some of this stuff. You can see the statue head there. See it's got some type of base. There's not much to say. Most of this is self-explanatory. I mean, as always, if you find something cool, you know, put it in the links. But uh, I tried using the uh, video capture on this, and it just just doesn't come out. I can't. You know, a lot of people use phones and small tablets and stuff, and it's not fair to them. You know, that's why I use the handheld. I can get in really tight and close. You know, a lot of times I watch these really cool videos on my phone. And I'll tell you, I can't wait to get home and put it on my Google TV, my 70-inch. You know. A lot of people, you know, you got to realize a lot of people only have phones or a small tablet. You know, iPads and stuff. And just because I could see something doesn't mean you can. So that's why I use the handheld. I can really get in really, I mean, really tight. I mean, look at this thing. It's got some type of pole coming out of it. You can see the shadow. It looks to be a carving behind it. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like a gigantic skull. It almost looks like it's got teeth carved into it. I mean, the two eyes, the nose, the mouth. And this looks like two tanks standing up and then some of the manipulation they cut it off see I believe when NASA gets these pictures you know the way these thumbnails come down there's some type of algorithm they will descramble this picture and then they'll do their main editing the touch-ups Look at this, there's a, some type of bowl. Looks like some, some type of statue standing up here. You know, it looks like some type of carved bowl. Look at this piece here. You can see it's got an opening. See how they blurred all of this? And you can see this, this, is, this is not natural. I mean, it looks like a mausoleum. I mean, that's what I believe we're looking at is graveyards. And I'm going to stick to that. And there's certain areas that are different, but I believe these areas are grave. Uh, these are graveyards. Look at this thing. It's got an opening carved. Look at this symmetry in that car. Look at this stuff. See this carving, there's the eye. 
comes out. It's an animal. There's the mouth. Comes down. And there's more of it. And this thing comes. It's got a flat top. Some type of base. I'm not saying that's exactly what this stuff is when I'm describing it. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what I see, you know. Look at this stuff. Look at this cool thing. It's got some type of opening. And it looks like it's got some type of string holding a ball. Let me see how close I can get you into that. Now that's a rock. That's supposed to be a natural formation. And you can see in front of it is some type of bowl or tank. right next to it. There's the eye. There's a mouth carved into it. There's the ear. See the ear? Eye. See how it comes down? I'll try to get in as close as I can for you guys with the phones and stuff, tablets. Let me just stuff in the back here that they just blurred. It's so easy to do, you know. Because they really pixelate the, the hell out of this stuff and they, you know, they get it. They do their magic and they see this all unedited. And then they edit these pictures and then they send them out to the public. They post on their website that they're giving us access to raw images. Okay, NASA. I was born yesterday. Look at this carved head. One eye, the other eye, the nose, the mouth. See how it's got a base. You can see there's a shadow. And then look at the stuff. Look at the symmetry of all of this. This stuff's got to be so beautiful. What the hell is NASA doing, I'll tell you. How they covered this stuff up for so long. Like I always say, there's got to be thousands and thousands of people that know other countries. The money and the deals they must have to make behind closed doors to keep this private. The deals they must have to make with these other countries. It's like that chain lander they've landed on the moon. That thing is that thing is fine. The pictures that that must be sending back. I mean, look at this. Look at the structure back there.
All right, guys, you know what to do. I got a couple of cool things coming out, as usual. You know, just sit tight. You know what to do. I do this for you guys. Truth is out there.